Evening folks, KT here with Everyday KT number 26. Today we're going to talk about what shoes you would wear with your kilt. So the first thing we do is I'm going to talk about traditional kilt wear. Um, the formal kilt is generally worn with a pair of ghillies and I'll show you what those look like right here. For those of you who are familiar with wingtips, they're very similar. Here's, a, here's one of mine right here. It has very long laces. These, these strap up around your ankles. But the one thing you'll notice, it doesn't have a tongue. So it's a, it's a very interesting shoe. Um, I will say that these really suck to wear. Uh, I've, I've had these for probably eight years now. I don't wear them very often because they take forever to break in and they're not comfortable. Uh, I also made a mistake. When I bought mine, I didn't pay uh, close enough attention and I bought Piper's Gillies. If you'll notice right here, there's an aluminum or me a metal of some sort. It's a tap. So that when you're walking on hard surfaces, it clicks every time. It helps uh, Piper's keep time and it does make an interesting noise when you're walking, but you, you're wearing these around every day will wreck your hardwood floors. If you've got tile, it'll chip that up pretty nastily. Uh, I use Gorilla Tape and I put some black Gorilla Tape over this whenever I wear these out. But because I don't like them very much, I only wear them for extremely formal occasions. Uh, so if I wear them twice a year, it's a minor miracle. Um, I actually do have a picture of what they look like when you're wearing them. Uh, here it's on my, uh, of course, Kiltology Volume 2. If you look there, you see right down there, that's where the laces, you have the laces, they're, they're laced right up the foot uh, and up the calf and they're tied in the front. The laces have a piece of leather on the end as a decoration and that is for formal kilt wear. Uh, Gillies can get kind of expensive, I believe mine were about $125 for the set. I know that you can get significantly more expensive ones. Um, those, that's for your traditional formal wear. Um, if you're not wearing ghillies or you're, you know, you don't want them the way those look, a standard pair of wingtips, uh, leather, leather, patent leather shoes, well, I don't know about patent leather, but, um, anything along those lines will be just fine. Uh, Black Doc Martens, uh, are also commonly seen or something along those lines. Yeah, Sam, I agree. They suck. Uh, and yes, Doc Martens. So that's formal. What about everybody else? So the basic opinion is like most everything I've said. It's up to you. For myself, as you can see here, these are black Magnum 8-inch duty boots. You can get them at most police supply. You can get them online. A lot of the uh, surplus stores, Army Navy surplus. Those kind of places, all of them carry them. A lot of work and um, supply, police supply stores have them. They don't run, they're not that bad. They probably run you about $90. That's what I pay for mine. You can shoot the moon for them. And this is my everyday wear. This is where I wear wherever. Um, I will say that if you can find them and you want to, you can get as elaborate with your footwear as you please. There was a gentleman who used to go to the uh, Tulsa... Um, Scottish Festival, who had a pair of, um, I think, mid-calf black leather boots with leather flames that were attached to the front of it, and there were spikes, and they were just awesome. He got them online somewhere, I don't know where, um, but black leather boots is generally how I prefer to wear uh, my kilts. When I'm out hiking, of course, I have low... Uh, low height hiking shoes that look like kind of sneakers but they're made for trails uh, so I wear those all the time uh, I have several pairs of Chucks uh, Chuck Taylor All-Stars for my Converse for those of you who don't know wear those a lot um, there's a lot of folks out there who like to wear the leather sandals that's fine you know in all honesty you can wear whatever footwear you want you know it it is you it's what you want to wear um, if you want to wear sneakers with your kilts, fine. Um, I will say the whole uh, flip-flops and socks, 
personally, I, I I'm not a fan. But if that's how you roll, then you know that that's how, that's how you roll. Go for it. Uh, so that's that's kind of the the nuts and bolts of footwear. You know, leather boots are usually the the easy go to because they're very commonly available. You can find them most anywhere, even you know some some black leather boots or some black duty boots from Walmart for like forty bucks. Those will do easy. Uh, I know there's a lot of folks who would like to wear the Timberland styles, where it's the tan leather. Uh, it's like a suede-ish. Go for it. Um, general rule of thumb is if you're wearing multiple leathers, at least try to get them to match somewhat. But again, that's up to you. If you don't want to match them, then you know that you're you're wearing it, so you run with. I need to pop up some of Kiltology we're reading from tonight uh, when you get a chance. Uh, so. That's that. That's it with with footwear. Um, there are some people who like to go f full old school traditional, and they actually wear the handmade leather. I don't even know what you call them. There's basically a leather boot. They take a big piece of leather, wrap it around your foot, and then tie it. Uh, I've tried those once. They're not comfortable in my eyes, so I I don't wear them. Um, so that's that's pretty much the nuts and bolts of it right there. Um, yeah, Chris, yep, boots and chucks, they're awesome. Um, still waiting on a volume, looks like uh, there's a little bit of lag there. Um, so tomorrow, um, send me your, send me your questions, comment on the video on Facebook, and, uh, let me know what you want to talk about for tomorrow night. I'm, I'm getting open to, uh, you know, I'm talking about all kinds of stuff. Ah, uh, Sam, Chris beat you to it by about a second. So it looks like we're going with volume one. But for tomorrow's uh, Everyday KT, I'm gonna pick from a question that you have is with your comments. Uh, today's was from uh, a comment I got from a friend talking about flip-flops and kilts. And I personally, style-wise, I agree, I don't like them. But that's for me, I don't wanna wear them. If, uh, if anybody else, you know, if you happen to be one of those folks who loves flip-flops, go for it, you know, it's, it's your feet. So we're going to go with Kiltology, Volume 1, and today we are, this is awesome. This, this, this goes to everything that we've been talking about since day one. It's your kilt, wear it the way you want. Kiltology number 54. No matter what you've been told, remember, a kilt is only a piece of clothing. It will not slay dragons, conquer armies, or woo the lasses all by itself. So it's it's a kilt. Yes, it's awesome. Everybody loves to see them. Everybody's curious about them. But it's just clothing. You know, clothes don't make the man. The man makes the man. So that's today's episode of Everyday KT. And I will see you tomorrow. Remember, you can check out, you know, you can get Kiltology on, over on Amazon. And if you have questions about anything related to kilts, please just ask. I'm over on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Just ask. And I will see you tomorrow. Be strong. Put a kilt on.